everyone! So I'm subscribed to almost 600 channels, and that's a lot for one person to consume. So I decided to kind of go through my subscription box and uh, unsubscribe from the channels that I don't really watch anymore and channels that are just inactive now. But in doing that, I realized that I have a lot of channels and a lot of people on this little corner of the internet that I really love and that no one else seems to know about. So I decided to create a series about my favorite YouTubers. And I decided to do a series and not a single video because there are too many people that I love. So in this video, I am going to focus on five creators that I really love who have under 100 subscribers. So the first YouTuber I am going to talk about is Arthi and a Half. She currently has 24 subscribers, and she deserves so many more. She deserves all of the subscribers. She deserves every single subscriber that subscribes on YouTube. I don't know where I was going with that. But Arthi is one of my real life friends, and we actually met through YouTube, through me watching her channel and her watching mine. The thing I love about her videos is that she is so full of life while still being eloquent and interesting. Every single one of her videos makes me think about the life, the universe, and everything. It makes me think about the bigger picture when it comes to specific things going on in my life, because that's what she does. She has such interesting reflections on her own life, and she somehow manages to make that relatable to everyone and make some big cohesive idea out of it and I'm very jealous of her capability to do that. The video I'm going to recommend from her channel is her newest one uh, called Being a Body, and it's about being an individual within a crowd and that feeling, and it's really amazing. So go check out that video and tell her I say hi. So the second channel I'm gonna talk about is one I might be a little bit biased about. Uh, it's Dear Chris Evans. I've been a guest on their channel twice, and that's mostly because Farah and Yolanda are such wonderful people and keep inviting me back. So Yolanda and Farah make weekly videos dedicated to the celebrity crush slash cinnamon roll that is Chris Evans, light of all of our lives. However, it's not just fangirling about this amazing human being. Actually, there's barely any fangirling going on. This channel is more of a way to bring together people who like Marvel, who like Chris Evans, who like YouTube, and who like talking about life. It really was an honor to be a guest on their channel twice. It's, it's even more of an honor to watch their videos every week because they are fantastic. So for my recommended video from their channel, I'm actually going to link to my own because I'm incredibly proud of it and G. Willow Wilson retweeted it. It's a video letter to Kamala Khan because every month they do uh, themes and that month's theme was video letters to uh, other Marvel characters. However, I'm also going to link to Yolanda's video about writing and how she has to get into the habit of writing and stuff because it's something that I kind of need to watch on a regular basis in order for me to get writing. So I'll link both of those right here, I guess. One and two. I will also be linking all of the videos in the description, so not to worry if you want to just watch this video through and then click away down there in my skirt. It's party in my skirt this time. So the third creator I'm going to be talking about is Kazgomu2. Unfortunately, I don't know her real name, but Kazgomu2 is a pretty cool name, so let's just keep calling her that. Kazgomu2 is an incredibly sweet girl who makes uh, acoustic cover videos which sounds pretty basic when it comes to YouTube. However, her mashups are really amazing. So you can't even tell that there are different songs going on because it feels so cohesive and it all feels like one song. And she has a great voice. So the video I am going to recommend from her channel is, it's, I have to read this, sorry. It's human nature right here, she ain't you giving me a rush, which is a uh, Michael Jackson, CWV, Chris Bound, Chris Brown and Tyra B mashup. It's, it's a lot, uh, but it sounds so good all together. So the fourth creator is Catherine, and she is a superstar on my channel. She's commented on so many of my videos, and that's how I discovered her. Uh, she is 
so fantastic and she has such interesting insights in my comments and she continues those insights in her own videos. She does this series called 10 Minute Mondays where she talks about just interesting things for 10 minutes or less. And one thing I really love about her is her Australian accent, I'm not gonna lie. She's really pleasant to listen to. I do feel like liking the sound of someone's voice is an important part of like liking a YouTube channel because you're gonna be looking at their face and listening to them and it's nicer if you like their face and you like their voice. She's a fun person to listen to because her accent is fantastic. But also her insights are really fantastic, okay? And that's why the video I'm gonna recommend is called Ex Machina and it's about her watching the movie Ex Machina and how every person has a different Turing test, which I thought was a really interesting idea. Uh, so go watch that and go tell her I say hi and hi if you're watching, um, you are fantastic. So the final YouTube channel I'm going to recommend is The Radical Radish. She literally just started making videos, she only has two videos on her channel, but they are so good. She sort of has a rambling stream of consciousness feel to her videos, which I really really dig. It feels like old school vloggy type stuff, which admittedly a lot of these creators do, but um, I just, I just really like her feel. Uh, she packs a lot in a single video and you should just definitely subscribe to her because she only has seven subscribers right now and she deserves a lot more. So watch her. The video I'm going to link to for her is called Thoughts on Identity and it's talking about her various identities um, as a Muslim, as a student, as a teacher, as a sister, daughter, whatever because she's not quite sure what her identity is as a YouTuber quite yet. So I think that was a really cool video and it made me think a lot about how I portray myself on YouTube and how that's different and the same uh, of the ways I portray myself in real life, like how I portray myself with my family versus my friends because I do act a little bit differently uh, versus like professors and teachers and everything. So uh, it was a really interesting video and it gave me a lot of food for thought. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you do, be sure to subscribe because I'm gonna be tackling the 100 subscribers to 1,000 subscribers next time on this little favorite YouTubers series. And be sure to like this video and all of the videos that I've linked down in the description and in the annotations. This is a reminder to annotate now be sure to say hello to all of these channels and tell them to make more content because they make fantastic content so once again i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time bye the celebrity crush slash cinnamon roll sit them Chris Evans. That's what I was gonna say. Ah.